Your Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Colleagues, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good morning. First of all, my thought goes to the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic, those who have lost parents or friends, and those who are suffering other impacts of the current crisis. Our prayers are with you. We come together today at a unique moment in human history, with unexpected challenges emerging almost daily. The need for evidence-based research is perhaps now more important than ever before in guiding policies. And the value of the T20 in this process should not be underestimated. I met many of you in Riyadh in January, a mere three months ago during the T20 inception conference. It's great to virtually see each of you again. To those I have not yet had the privilege of meeting, please accept my greetings on behalf of T20 Saudi Arabia. I am delighted to have the opportunity today to share some important messages from the T20. T20 Saudi Arabia is called by two of the leading think tanks in the kingdom, KF Chris and Capsark. It is also supported by several Saudi and international universities, research centers, and think tanks. Consistent with the tradition established by past T20 presidencies, we are committed to bringing evidence-based policy recommendations to the attention of the G20 leaders on a timely and relevant issues, not only for G20 countries, but also for non-G20 countries. The 10 task forces that you are all aware of focus on important topics, which are in some ways now more critical than ever before. We have also established a special task force to address the challenges caused by COVID-19 pandemic. We aim to remain relevant and useful to policymakers in a rapidly changing world. However, I want to emphasize that while we want to be agile, responsive, and adaptive to the changing world around us, we must also ensure that the T20 output meets the highest standard of integrity, objectivity, and inclusiveness. As such, I want to emphasize that researchers wishing to contribute policy briefs will need to adhere to the same submission, peer review, revision, and publication process as would be the case for any highly regarded academic journal. These policy briefs will, be, will form our collective research effort that will be channeled to the G20. It is important that all policy briefs follow this process and are not published or disseminated through unofficial channels, as this would dilute the thoroughness of the process. The T20 Saudi Arabia is nested within the G20 framework, and we recognize that the issues we consider are of concern, of concern to the entire world. With that in mind, we have tried to ensure that our output gives voice to think tanks from around the world, and more specifically, from developing countries and in the MENA region. The themes we have selected our task forces on, the authors, and the participants we invited, and our vision, striving for future of prosperity, sustainability, and inclusion, all underscores the importance of this objective for T20 Saudi Arabia. But even when we are framing the notion of prosperity, sustainability, and inclusion, we must remember that developing and emerging economies face different concerns, priorities, and challenges compared to the more advanced economies. The T20 gives us an opportunity to present many perspectives, and we respect the views of all. I would like to restate that the T20 has always valued an inclusive, democratic, and open process of collecting ideas, which is really what makes it credible and legitimate. We hope you will always support us in ensuring that these values are not diluted or delayed by any other means. Ladies and gentlemen, many of you have been involved with the T20 for many years. 
you are an important part of the community and critical to maintain its momentum each year as presidency as presidency rotate from one year, one country to another. For those of you who are contributing to the T20 Saudi Arabia as authors of policy brief, I thank you for your contribution and your consistent engagement with us. Despite the current global challenges, we continue to make a great progress. We have received over 130 policy briefs. The submission are currently going through our peer review process to ensure that their quality meets the highest standard of academic precision and integrity, and that they will make us all proud as a T20 network. Many of the policy briefs combine the work of multiple authors from around the world, some of whom have never been previously working together. This inclusiveness and cooperation among think tanks around the globe help bring diverse ideas and research into discussion and will definitely strengthen the policy recommendation generated. T20 Saudi Arabia has responded to the current crisis by establishing a special task force that will investigate the impact of COVID-19. I thank you all for your overwhelming response to our special call for policy briefs. I'm happy to announce that we have received over six 65 submission in just two weeks. We are now consolidating the policy briefs that discuss social, economic, financial, and environmental impact of the pandemic, and the role of multilateral institution and global policies in addressing the challenges presented by COVID-19. We will be organizing a webinar on May 5th that will give further details about this special task force and I invite you all to participate in the discussion. Now, how do we as a community move forward? We are adapting to virtual meetings and thus we plan to hold our T20 task force workshop virtually from June 15 to 17 as scheduled. Because of the many time zones that must be accommodated, the workshop will be held over three days for three hours each day. It will have a breakout session for each of the 10 task forces to allow task force members to discuss the key messages that need to be reflected in the T20 communique. The communique will summarize our key finding and will be presented to the G20 in advance of the final leaders summit. The workshop is an important step in the formal development and finalization of the official T20 policy briefs. It is also a key step the T20 secretariat consolidation of its recommendations. I urge you all to actively participate so that your voice can be incorporated in the communique. And of course I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to our summit to be held on October 31st to November 1st this year. Hopefully we will be able to meet again in person at that point. But however, we are aware of the evolving economic and travel disruption and will try our best to ensure the participation of everyone, whether in person or virtually. Thank you all and I wish you a fruitful and informative discussion in the days ahead.